What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Arena Cube draft because I really enjoyed these, and hopefully you have too. Hopefully you have as well. What do we got here? I always think this is Approach of the Second Sons. It's Overwhelming Splendor, which is not the same thing. Um, I kind of like Murderous Rider again. I'm just going to tighten these up a little bit. Make it a little... Just wiggle around this little... Yeah, all right. There we go. That's, that's better. Were they planning on moving Pioneer to Arena? I mean, I think, yes, that's their goal. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Like, there's far too many cards for them to transport over. Like, it, it's just... It, they're, they're not there, and it's not reasonable for them to do it in any uh, reasonable time frame. <laughs> I think it's Murderous Rider. Oh, Thief of Sanity? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I also really like Rishkar's expertise, and I would love a chance to cast it for some big bigs. Man, if one day I could play Commander on Arena, that would be dope. <laughs> Fat chance, buddy. If you had to eat any basic land, which color would you eat and why? <laughs> I think I'd probably go for forest, right? Like that's how it, it obviously has the most vegetation and there could even be actual food there. So that would be my, or plains. I think both of those are very, uh, I kind of want to play black white. I would love to take thief, but I kind of just want to take the fixing land and, and try to draft black white. I'm going to do it. I'm a bigger fan of drafting what I want to draft and playing what I want to play rather than like, oh, see, Divine Visitation is exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe the Savai Triome comes back? Why not island? Delicious water. Well, an island it would imply that it's probably salt water, I would assume. Both Basri and Hidden Stockpile here, huh? Okay, okay. That delicious Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, man. I think Stockpile will come back more likely than Basri. I also think Basri is just a stronger card in general. Oh, Castle Ardenvale? That makes 4-4s four as far as I can tell. We're not a cruel celebrant deck. If this was Elderstreborn, I'd probably take that instead, but we're going to take the Castle Ardenvale here for sure. And we can put this in the main deck, actually. I like seeing my lands here, so... Oh, uh, I think Valor Stance is actually fine. Oh, actually, Swift Response might just be better. Yeah, let's take Swift Response. If Swift, if Swift Response was a sorcery, I think it was worse, but because it's not, I think it's better. That's my... That's, uh, that's been Frank's tips here. <laughs> if it was a sorcery, it'd be worse. But because it's not, it's not. All right. I'm going to take Demonic Pact here. And you know what? If I find some strange, magical way to play a Demonic Pact, you know what? More power to me. Ooh. Fragmentize destroys a Demonic Pact. Sack a creature. Draw two. I'm going to take the Fragmentize. Fragmentize is watching you. This is your every move. Baby, baby, dance. Well, it's not Isamaro. Is it Traxo? Traxos? Traxos? We don't have any legendary creature. We don't have any legendary cards. Maybe it's just Sun Petal Grove in case. I don't think this big fat Godzilla is any good either, unfortunately. I'll take the Grove. I think it keeps us away a little more open. Oh, disfigure's fine. Oh man, that's sad. The uh the Triumph didn't come back. I'll take Fabled Passage. I think it's fucking so much worse than Prismatic Vista, but what oh, stockpile came back. See that's what we're talking about. Cruel Celebrant? 
eh, you're fine. Take the beetle. Oh, this is just Blood Artist, right? Whenever or another creature or planeswalker you control dies, each opponent loses. Yeah, sure. It does count for um, tokens, which is nice. Hmm. Oketra's Monument. Hmm. Are we in for Oketra's Monument, guys? Yeah, I bet once Michael hits like three to four, it's probably it probably slows down a little bit. Yeah, Oketra's Monument seems banging for this archetype. This archetype being the tokens that we're trying to. Um, so eliminate actually seems decent in this in this cube, and I also I just put it in my my own vintage cube. Um, and the reason being that you, in this format you actually do have cards like uh, probably not Oko, but you do have cards like Kiora or um, Ashiok, things like that. So Archon Archon is fine. Woe Strider is also good. How's our curve looking? No threes, or not many threes, not many sixes. My concern with the Archon is giving other creatures, making other creatures three threes. I kind of like Eliminate here. Uh, we have Murderous Rider. Actually, we have a good amount of removal already. I forgot we had Rider. We have Swift Response, Disfigure. Oh, shit. Do we have Witch of the Moors triggers? No. No. Maybe, actually. No. Not really. I think it's just Godless Shrine here. And then if Concealed Courtyard or Witch of the Moors comes back, I'll just take it then. But yeah, I like having two on-color duels so far. We also have Sun Petal Grove, so if you want to play like Knight of Autumn, it's pretty good. We can technically play Risk because this was back in the day when, when all your activations were hybrid. This is a mono white card or a mono green card if you want it to be. It actually pretty seems pretty decent. Eight? What are you saying, Midnight Meat? Yeah, I think it's Risk. I don't think there's a need to go into a third color here. Um, I mean, Palaka Predation is fine. It's just a land. Shadow Spear is also pretty decent. Trample and Lifelink. I'm going to take this, though. Shadow Spear is also good. I agree. Um, if it loses life, number two, you don't gain life from this? That's stupid. You're stupid. Do we have anything we even care about on Barrel Rightsing? I don't think so. I think it's just Gifted Aetherborn here. Two of you said rights? Like, we just don't have enough creatures to rights. But maybe we get them. I, I think the upside is probably a little better than than the, the Aetherborn, but... Ooh, Maze Mind Tome? You don't have to tell me twice. Is it Mangara? Hmm. I actually kind of like Mangara here. Yeah, I'm going to take the Mangara. I'm going to try it out. I've never actually cast Mangara. Mangara! Archfiend's Vessel. So I can Unbarrow Rights this. I think that's pretty much it, though, right? I guess if we get a... Alluris, it's pretty good. Um, Cauldron's fine. I think I'd rather just take Wrath if we're going to take Cauldron. Yeah, I like just having Wrath. I mean, Scattered Groves is good because it gives us a another go land to go with our Sun Petal Grove and also our Failed Passage. So Abzan could be on the menu. I think it's probably better than Vengeful Rebel. And so we get another fixing land here. Glass Casket also fine. Hmm. Like, we already have a lot of playables. We have, like, six, 14 playables here. Not including, like, sideboard stuff. Which is nothing, I guess. Um...
Oh, the oh wow, Concealed Courtyard came back. That's pretty sweet. It's like we have really good mana for, for Abzan right now, which leaves us very, very open in pack three, I think. Okay, so none of these are... Eh, let's take a Hollow Fountain. In case we get a Golos or something. Okay, wow, none of these cards were any good. Actually, Garrick's Uprising? Interesting. Oh, Elspeth Conquer's Death is great. Um, Beanstalk Giant is also fine. Inscription of Ruin. Three mana discard. Return a creature with converted mana cost two or less. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with Elspeth Conqueror's Death. I don't think there's any, any card in this pack that's going to be better than that. So, like, for fixing right now, we have Branch Loft Pathway, Scattered Grove, Sun Petal Grove. So many groves. And also Fabled Passage. So it's actually pretty decent. Mythos seems great here. We do only have five creatures, but... You know. What are you going to do? We're trying to make tokens here, okay? Not actual creatures. Don't be ridiculous. <sighs> Might be Loxodon. I don't think it's Loxodon. I think it's actually just Mythos. It kills anything. It kills anything. I don't know what to tell you. You name something, it'll kill it. Oh, what about... What's his name? <coughs> yeah, actually, Dreadhorde Invasion seems fantastic with Divine Visitation here. Oh, Anointed Procession. Hmm. I see. I see. Okay, we're taking that. And now every card that says token on it, we're going to take. Like, Birth of Miletus. Or Sram's Expertise, for example. Oh, actually, Lurus is what we wanted, isn't it? So we can get Riss, we can get Birth of Miletus, Dreadhorde Invasion, Hidden Stockpile... Yeah, I think Luris is probably better than Sram's expertise here. Uh, because my big spells was seven mana or more, not six mana. And I say that in the article antibody. Good grief. I went with Saram because I think it's just a bigger upside. It goes better with our deck. Um, also, God Eternal Bantu seems fine for our deck as well. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Ooh, but start to finish as well. Yeah, we're taking start to finish here. Uh, Legion's Landing. All right, you got a deal. It's it's more than six. Oh, because you're, you're cycling it. Well, you know what they say. I think Priest is nuts, sure, but I don't know if we're going to have enough creatures to reliably sack. Plus, this makes two angels, Michael. Don't you ever, don't you know about angels? Um, yeah, let's take Loxodon here. <laughs> that was, I, I, yeah, I mean, I knew that guy was coming back. There's no, there's no world where Loxodon doesn't table. I don't think we're playing on Barrel Rights. So this is five lands and 28 cards. So we're actually... Um, yeah, I'll just take Giant Killer. Well, can you send me one? Pref oh, Nightmare Shepherd actually seems decent here. It comes back as a token. But the token is a 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, I'll just take Cure. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. I thought she was going to say my friend's kind of a bitch. My friend's kind of a big deal. And I was like, oh. Well, that was unexpected. Um, This is 42 cards, huh? And this is 12, 13, 20, 20, 17 lands. So we have to make two cuts. I like that. I like that we have more options than, than other things. Woe Strider. Palaka Predation is actually a, a land, so... 
I don't know if I do. I, I, I still don't know if I want to go down to 17 lands and Palaka Predation. Or 16 lands and Palaka Predation, rather. I think I'd still rather have 18 total possible lands. I'm not sure about the Pact, and I'm not sure about Fragmentize either. So actually, I think that's probably the deck. And I think this actually looks good. So, yeah. I I, I think, yeah, because otherwise, like, we, we could actually go Pact and then keep up our own Elspeth, but that's actually, it excels a permanent opponent controls. So we can't do that. We can Mythos. We can kill it with Mythos, and we can kill it with Fragmentize, and that's pretty much it. And I'm not very comfortable with that. My only concern is that we only have nine creatures for Oketra's Monument. But it still reduces the cost of all of these spells. So so someone mentioned putting a green source in the deck for Mythos. And I think that's actually a great idea, especially when we have very easy ways to do that. So what is a six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 white sources. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 black sources. So we can actually take two planes out at Branchloff and Sun Petal Grove. And as far as planes go, we still have 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, let's see what happens. Arctic Avenger, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Always a pleasure. You don't know me. I will play first. Thank you. Music Manly, what up? 15 months? It seems way longer than that, I'll be honest with you. I'll keep this hand. I mean, the question is, do we play Fabled Passage to hit a, a black source here, or do we just play Riss? I think we just play Riss here. Let's see. Okay. Well, now we can Fabled Passage to still get a black source, which is probably what we want to do here. I'm so jealous of these Bob Ross lands. I can't even express it to you. I feel so dumb for like checking it the day after. Yeah, you guys are YouTube bros that are now Twitch bros. I think we're just playing Oketra's Monument. We're gonna play Basri's Lieutenant next turn, make a 1 1. No attacks here. Could you be the passion? No block. Oh, I'm probably gonna play that as a land. Let's put a counter on Rissles. Did some actual work for a few minutes. Man, Michael, Thank I'm so sorry. You. Monkey Knife Fight, welcome back. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Oh, they did not attack. I mean, I wish I had that green source right about now. Or another white source. Or another land. <laughs> well, this is unfortunate. Hmm. 
Okay. Well. All right. We'll just end the turn here. Maybe we make a guy. Maybe we murder Strider. Maybe they killed themselves with their own Phyrexian Arena. While he's having a big, a big woof right now. Ugh, God, like this guy just. See, I'm going to kill this guy because the reason is I want to save this in case we draw green because I do want to get rid of Phyrexian Arena because I think it's a stronger card. So now I'm not going to block this guy because they just pump it. And they're probably going to pump it anyway, and that's fine. Well, actually, now that they've pumped it, I'm probably just going to block with the token here. I feel like a 1-1 one -one there is just definitely worth it. Oh, thank God. Oh, and it's the good one. It's not, our, it's not a green source either, so... This is the one we care about. Thank you. Strider, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I love you guys. Oh, we're flipping. Easy blocks. I mean, if you have, like, plus... Alright, yeah, that's fine. Pump that guy once. I'll take four. Yeah, we don't have any good creatures in the graveyard, and neither do they. So, if we want to play Bontu and sack Bazaar, it's actually pretty good. Or, uh, Riss, rather. Um, because we still get a two two as well. Uh, sacrifice any number of permanents. We're definitely sacrificing probably the one one. Because we're drawing cards, right? Yeah, we're definitely drawing two here. What is the worst salad dressing? Uh, green. That's not the worst salad dressing. What's the worst salad dressing? So I think honey mustard is the worst salad dressing. I think honey mustard is a good dipping sauce for things like nugs and fries. But as a salad dressing, I think it's terrible. I actually love Thousand Island. You guys are talking trash. I love some Thousand Island. Oh! Uh, since it's a creature, let's go with a 1-1 one -one counter. This guy got Menace. And this guy would pump to a 5-6. So they have to block with both. We can't actually kill him. We can attack with this guy just to just to get the 1-1, the one -one, which is actually two 1-1s. One -ones. No, I think this is fine.
Wait, what died? Oh, that's amazing. The Elspeth, or, uh, yeah, I forgot the Elspeth conquers death went to the graveyard. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, that's, that's less cool. It's a long anointed procession. Like, so the thing is we have an engine on board. We have Riss and three tokens, which actually become six tokens. And then we can just do that as well. This guy can't block, right? Um, actually, this guy can't block. So... Okay. Upkeep stop for what? Just a scry? I think we're fine without. <sighs> I mean, we're at six, which is not nothing when they have... Oh, well, now it's nothing. Actually, we'll block, uh, we'll block with a servo. Servo's just worse. This guy's vigilance. Blue paint chips. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Fragmentize actually seems really good. We saw, like, three enchantments from them, including, like, Legion's Landing, uh, Bastion, and... The other one. Frexine Arena. Hmm. Chili's baby back ribs. What are you saying about Blood Priest? Are you talking about a Cruel Celebrant? Shua Garner, appreciate it, buddy. It's a real pain in the ass. If anybody works for budget truck rental or knows someone who does, feel free to reach out to me. I'm having an issue with them where they're trying to charge me. They 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 opened a claim for a rental I did back in February. So it was, it was, they, they, they brought it to me in September. So seven months later and they say I owe $1,500 for some damages, even though, uh, when I rented the card, the car, uh, or when I brought the car back, they did not actually check off anything or examine it. So, um, let's take a giant killer. Actually, I think, I think God eternal bonds is really good. It fills our hand. It gives us something to do with like excess creatures. Whereas like giant killer didn't seem to have a ton of targets. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out the best course of action because I know the vehicle was not damaged when I returned it. And um, $1,500 seven months later when like my memory is probably not as good about the, the incident or like, you know, whatever. It just seems really weird <laughs> and suspicious. <coughs> so if anyone has any, uh, any relations to people who work at budget, definitely let me know. I would accept the payment on behalf of budget and take care of the issue for you. What does that mean? Um, I kind of just want to disfigure this guy, to be honest. But I feel like playing Dreadhorde Invasion this turn... No, they did not deduct from the credit card. They sent me, like, a claim, and they're like, you owe us $13.50 for damages. They didn't, they didn't tell me what the damages were. Why not disfigure last turn? Because we played this instead. And it, I don't think it's a... Well, because I'm also talking to you guys, so... Um, I kind of like Birth of Miletus here, actually. I 
I mean, I still have this paperwork from when we rented it. And the, uh... The damage thing. That, the, like, the walkthrough that they did. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go... Dread Horde. Keep up Disfigure. Yeah, well, I have where it shows all the damages. So the problem, I, the problem I have is that like this is what this is the damages that were on the truck when I first rented it, right? But like in the past seven months, how do you a how do you know the damages for me, and how the fuck do I know that someone else didn't damage it in seven months? Like that's why you find it when I first bring the truck back, right? So then you know, like, hey, I am the only one who had it in this time frame. So you figure out what's changed between those two, and it's like, but if you're not gonna like do that, then how do I know you didn't just make this up or that someone else didn't do it in seven months? It doesn't make sense. I'm kind of. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep Saram until we have, uh, until we have like divine visitation, maybe. It seems good. Oof! I like that. Oh shit, I'm gonna convoke. I don't know why I did this. Oh, let's play this guy. I just took two for no... Actually, I guess we get to keep up Mythos. Like you do. So if we if we kill this, they can sack this guy and this guy to get this guy back. I did contact my insurance company. Unfortunately, uh, they my my apparently my policy does not cover rental vehicles. So I also called my credit card company, and unfortunately, Capital One would cover it if it was a rental car, but they don't cover trucks or RVs or things of that nature. So all in all, not ideal. Not an ideal situation. Yeah, the problem is I'd rather avoid making a legal matter, but I think I'm I feel like I'm actually going to have to. So we can play both of these and the scry is actually going to be pretty decent, I think. They have one card, so I feel like we're actually 1 2 3 4. If we had 6, I would definitely consider this, but like this sets us up nice for a
You know what? I'll keep it. It's not exciting, but it does give us... This is also a token, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> we are playing the risk. Black-white token mirror match. This is hilarious. I feel like I faced so many mirror matches in this cube. That's the weirdest part. They sent me this claim with no information. They had no proof. They gave me no evidence of damage. No, no like, pictures of anything. So, Monsanto, my problem with that is I, I would that's that's actually would be my ideal situation. It's just really not easy to find a lawyer who wants to write up a letter, uh, especially a when they have no they have no incentive to really do so because it's just their time. And b like even if even if they win that like even if they it becomes a case and they take on the case like it's not great value for them. It's a fifteen hundred dollar cost to me. So like I can't even imagine a lawyer. It's worth their time to take a fifteen hundred dollar case. Is it a scam claim? To be? No, it's not. It's not. I mean, I I feel like I would have, in the past three months, I would have known enough to find out if it was actually, like, not the rental company. Um, hmm. I mean, it might be a scam, but it's definitely coming from budget. That's the thing. All right. So I assume you're going to sack this and something else to get back Nightmare Shepherd. Oh, you didn't. Fascinating. I don't think we've had anything die this turn, but that's okay. I'm still going to copy all my tokens. I'm pretty sure we just win next turn if we copy all our tokens, right? I don't think that's going to do it. All right. So what do we had? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... Another zombie? Would we have made another zombie? Because I didn't... I don't think we had two zombies now. Yeah, so that's what that's what Katie's mom actually told me. Katie's mom got a hold of me and she was like, hey, this is what you should do. You should write a letter asking for a certified letter um, and have them you know, send proof and, and evidence of the damages. And uh, if they can't do it, then, you know, the thing is like, I, I, I feel like they wouldn't, I feel like they have evidence of some damages. I feel like the difficulty is going to be proving that we didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand for sure. <clears throat> we got Pelt Collector. I think we got a Planes here. 
Doesn't mean we can't play this guy. If we get a swamp, I just don't think it's good. Plains lets us... Maybe we just Sun Petal Grove into Stockpile or into Riss and Fabled Passage next turn. Let's do that. Do you still have a copy of the drop-off documents where they didn't say anything? Was I don't think we got any documents. I don't remember getting documents. It might be in my car if 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 they if we did get them. <clears throat> um. So now we can get a swamp, which is pretty good. I mean, I'm discussing it on stream because people could be helpful, but I don't think they can twist my. I don't think, I I, I don't think a fifteen hundred dollar budget claim is actually going to go into to this specific stream, and use anything I'm saying as evidence, uh, when I literally have not admitted to any fault, because I really didn't do anything. So I, I think it's actually I think we're probably fine. Passage does trigger stock file. Yes, that's why I was. That's kind of why I was saving it. So now I'm probably just going to kill this thing. I'm going to whistle blow. That's messed up. <coughs> I'm tempted to be like, can I just buy you a new truck? I'm sure I can get one for less than... Oh, I love them all. I'm just going to kill this because I don't... They have two cards, and I think if we if they can't uh, net the card advantage off of Kiora, I think it's pretty good. We can also play Bantu next turn and sack both of these. Something to sack a land too, actually. I think this is fine. We also get another <clears throat> get another creature out here too. So now we can play Dread and and Basri's Lieutenant next turn, which is pretty good. Wow, they play that and we just draw Elspeth Conqueror's death? I mean... Okay. Should have played that first and then wrist. I guess it's probably fine. They have one card, we have four cards, Legion's Landing, Hidden Stockpile, and Elspeth Conquer's Death. I feel like we're in good shape here. Whatever. I would have rather had a third black to go with our three white. Oh, <clears throat> uh, they do have City's Blessing, so this guy can attack and block. No, they don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. They don't. Okay, that's good. That's nice. So they only have one blocker here. <clears throat> I 
I mean, flipping this is pretty good. We have yet to see Divine Visitation, but that's okay. I mean, I'll trade this with a wrist. That's for Because we still get a 2-2 out of it. And we can play Dread Horde Invasion. And we still get a stockpile token. So, I mean, like, that was a solid turn. I would ask for copies of the repair invoice, the photos of damage, and the pre-rental check from the next renter. Those are actually... That's a good idea. <coughs> um, I mean, I didn't see anything I was super threatened by this match, so I'm just going to submit... You can report the game log? There's a game log? Where the fuck is the game log? Like, it blew my mind when we returned the truck and he we gave him the keys and he's like, all right, thanks a lot. And then we just left. And I was like, uh, okay. <clears throat> and it was so weird. I'm like, okay, but if there's damage, how do you prove it later? Because that dude, for all I know, could have taken a sledgehammer and slammed something on the truck and then been like, oh, it's damaged. And I'm not there to witness it. <clears throat> they proved the damage by sending you a bill. Okay. Ideally, we draw Dreadhorde Invasion into Oketra's Monument. That'd be cool. <sighs> Sand's not super exciting. Was this the trip when y'all got run off the road? Yes, yes it was. <clears throat> Oh, McGamp Water. Oh, wow, there's... We're halfway there. Oh. Monument into the lieutenant. I'm in. Oh, living on a square. Take my hand. Make it a square. <coughs> They are watching. Oh boy. Well, unfortunately, Mike, cube ends tomorrow, so. <laughs> Look at this combo. What a combination move. Thank you. Oh, Kadeen, what up? Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Really appreciate you. They got City's Blessing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They don't. <clears throat> Got of eight counters on it. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll think of something. Okay. I don't have time for this. Well, I wish my hand wasn't four lands, but you know. <clears throat> it 
Yeah, no, I know about the blessing icon. I just wanted to make sure, like, how, I want to see how close they were. So, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have to just play one more thing. That'll do. Yep, there it is. Wow, five, five, and a five, three. Pro multicolor, right? Why can't you be satisfied with what you have? Well. Interesting. No block. Give me a spell. The cube isn't gone tomorrow. The best of three option is gone tomorrow. But why? What the fuck? That's so stupid. <laughs> why? Why would you do this? Wait, but according to this, it's not until the 20th. What's not until the 20th? I don't understand what's going on right now. Mediocre Magic Man. You're really, uh... <clears throat> You're really doing a heckin' confusion here. Well, that would be sweet. That gives me a few more days then. And I'll tell you what. I never mind more days of Cuban. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is kind of obnoxious, but they don't really have anything going on, and he doesn't net you cards, so... This has been an emotional roller coaster. Best of three is this until the 20th. Oh, December 20, 2021. Wow, that's that's a long time. Yeah, resolve it. Thank you. Cuban Pete, welcome. Oh, Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Cuban Pete, welcome. <clears throat> I'm the king of the rumba beat. I did not realize it was my... Oh, wow. They're really just getting aggressive here. What's the worst Christmas gift you ever received? <laughs> oh, man. I don't even want to say. Except for you. It was not underwear. I've, I've actually... Oh. Oh, no. Mistakes were made. Fuck. Uh, uh, don't like that. Yikes. Slow down. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh boy. Boy, this Tefri and uh, Ominous Sea is like is quite the combination here. Got an Ulmog in their graveyard. That's fascinating. Yep. <coughs> like seconds. 
How close is this guy? Eight? Seven? Okay. What is happening? I was typing something. Yep. I like that guy. I haven't seen this guy in the queue at all. I assume they come in with both. Yeah, that's a good that's a good strategy. It's a real shame that I can't uh <clears throat> it's a real shame that I can't copy their tokens as well. For myself, not for them. Nightmare Shepherd, what do you do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you better than Maybe actually. Because we get a 1-1, one, one, so we're still putting two bodies on the board. I guess we put three bodies on the board this way. But also we're activating, so it is kind of three bodies on the board. I think we're okay here. Time to improvise. Hold on. Okay, draw. You just drew three for seven mana. That seems fine. <clears throat> wow, this card's really pulling its weight with uh, all these draw cards. Don't worry, I'll think of something. I would. I would wonder why this doesn't. Uh, remove the counters when. Oh wow, they're not gonna attack with their eight eight. Deal. Hmm. Thank you. Oh my God, Thank Brett you. with the ten gifted subs, dude. Oh my god, Brett, I love you, buddy. Unbelievable. Thank you. What a what a fucking oh my god, dude. Uh pass the damage. Yeah, alright. Thank you. Oh my god. Brett, dude, I am so I, I appreciate your support so much, dude. Thank you. I am so glad you and I are friends. Oh wow, that's a good hit. Doesn't get rid of this. Uh Thank Oof. you. We make four guys here. Who do we get back? We get back something good, right? Oh my god, we can get back their Ulamog? Thank you. Oh yeah, we're doing that for sure. We're getting rid of Teferi. We're chum blocking for the rest of the game. They got pack Thank indication. You. Brett, you are a friggin' hero. Thank you. Thank you. Think fast. Think fast. <clears throat> is it? Oh, it's it's only our graveyard. Is that is that true? I like that. I can't see. I guess I'll just go here. Oh dang it! I guess we're we'll get. I mean, we'll still get rid of Baz. We'll still get a Bazri's lieutenant. There's so many black and white cards that are like either like some some of them are any graveyard. Some of them are just your graveyard. And it's like, all right, well, make up your stupid mind. Might as well attack. We have five blockers, so I think we should be okay with that. <clears throat> oh yeah, the lieutenant does come with a counter, so we can put it on Nightmare Shepherd. I feel like we can overcome this... This Kraken board state. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We also have nine mana soon, so we're going to be at a point where we can cast, like, any four drop and also activate Riss. Hmm. 
That's actually really bad for us. Um, actually, we can bring back Riss. I think Riss is the def definitely the. Uh... <clears throat> oh, we have Nightmare Shepherd actually. Oh yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, take action for sure. Oh boy. I feel like that did. Why aren't they attacking with their Krakens? Sure. We can copy it, but considering it's legendary, that might not have the effect we want. Ooh, Hidden Stockpile was a good hit. <clears throat> oh, wow, I think we're one shy, right? Four, five, six, yeah, we have eight mana, so we can't activate this. Well, we're definitely killing this. I mean, I have no reason to keep Concealed Courtyard in my hand, and Hidden Stockpile is fine. So we're just going to pass, and... Uh, like, we make f five tokens, and we one of them's a Riss. Oh, biscuits. Oh my god, if they try to kill this Riss and we caught... Oh, they're going to kill our, our Nightmare Shepherd. Mm, I guess that's fine. Wait, we just get it back with... We just get it back with Elspeth. That's interesting. Now they're attacking with these things? I don't understand. <coughs> Oh, maybe we should have blocked. Oh, we should have blocked with the wrist and then sacr. Oh, that would have been really good. Um. Okay, see now we're we're learning. I don't really want to thin our ranks too much, unfortunately. That's too much, I think. I think we just take the two, and next turn we just have a ton of things to do. <clears throat> oh, I don't think Kugla attacking is that bad. It just gets rid of Oketra's Monument or Hidden Stockpile, and I really don't think that's a huge deal. Uh, we're going to get Lieutenant back. I don't think Shepard does much, and it's also an enchantment, so Kugla actually just destroys it. Say so whenever another creature control dies. Sure. <clears throat> hmm. So four, five, six. We have nine mana. Yeah, I do I mean I do want to sack a creature for revolt, but I I don't We were already getting a token because Elspeth conquers de Death went to the graveyard. Okay, so wait, this is gonna be five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, we're gonna be one shy. They don't have any humans, though, so we could actually block the Kogla with, like, a million things. Target opponent reels a card. And this is white creatures only, right? Whenever you white creature spells, cost one less. Oh, 
Oh shit, I was gonna use wrists. Oh god, the stupid hidden stockpile play messed me up. Dude, now we only have five. Now we can't make copies for co oh my god. I think that's gonna cost us the game actually. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Well, getting rid of Counterspell actually seems relevant, but not great. No, it's Meteor Commander's Arena, not your fault, dude. Um, oh, wow, that's just... It's gonna hurt. Because <laughs> we have to block, like, five things. Yep, that's fine, because, like... Man, we could add one, two, three, four, five, six. You think they kill hidden stockpile? I think so. So still no humans to bounce with this, right? So All right, we're not dead. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, this actually looks good. So five, six, seven. So we're trading with this guy. They don't have any humans, right? Not a human. Nope. Return a human. And we're getting two more two twos from that. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, this is a hell of a game right now. What's our timer? Is that sixteen, seventeen? Sure. They are not human krakens, correct. Alright, randomly make a 1-1 one, one on my turn, I guess. Oh, you're gonna make 2. That seems good. <coughs> I mean, divine intervention here making 4-4s four seems like the correct thing to do. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... But I don't want to. I don't want to make our our ranks too thin. Also, any future risk token is actually pretty good. So we're gonna make this. We're gonna be able to block. We gotta block. How many? How many do we have to block? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're gonna have seven creatures that can attack. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five creatures that we want to block with. I don't think we can actually risk this this turn, unfortunately. I think last turn was a big deal. Yep. Okay. So we are going to block with the wrist this time and then just make the... Block here, block here, block here. And we're going to take two. We are at one now. <laughs> oh god, this wrist is keeping us alive. Nature flows with vigor. That's not going to do anything either. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten. So we're still one shy. And they're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. And we're going to have... We can risk first, I guess. Well, they don't have another crack until next turn, thankfully. So if we draw one more land, we can go Divine Visitation, double all our creatures, making them all angels, which would be great, but, like... Alright, that's not great for us, but it's... I mean, Jesus Christ. 
This is wild, man. Is this game one? No, it's game two. We won the first game. Okay, that's good. Well, that's good, at least. But I have no frame of reference for that game, so... Pass two attackers again. So, what, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have to actually make guys here now. Block two twos. One, two, three. All right. Thankfully, none of these guys have trample. Oh mm, boy. If only Nurus had haste. Can you imagine? I love to make a splash. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Eleven. Does that do it? Do they get counter spell? So you make th we have five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're still dead. Well, that was unfortunate. I can't. I can, I can view the battlefield, but I can't look at the graveyard. Got it. Sounds good. Um. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I've been liking this cube a lot. I think it's really good. I think it's significantly better than the previous options. God, it's like pitch black already. It's 430. It's 450. You can, but the air you have to click is wafer thin. Oh, wow. You're right. All right. They're their own wrists. I mean, we basically lost to this stupid this card, right? So I'm going to bring in Fragmentize. I don't think they're a great Disfigure deck. I'm pretty sure Winter's already here. I, the only reason I didn't bring in Wrath is because I, I don't know how much better it is against them than it is against us in most situations. Wow. I think we can draw one land here. You're right, Chief. I mean, we can play Oketra's Monument. If we hit any white source in the next four turns, I think we're fine, so. I don't. Our hand is too slow. I don't think our hand is too slow at all. Like, their deck is not fast. They, like, won with Omen of the Seas after drawing, like, 16 to 24 cards. In order to make three uh, Krakens, like, that was probably like turn 40 that they actually were able to win the game. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I think we're leading with this. It makes Wolf Strider better. It makes Bazaar's Lieutenant better. Turn three Pelt Collector. Not ideal. Okay, but... What? How did you have both of those? This... I don't understand how you had both of those this at this point. Uh, pretty sure we can't woe into Loxanon. I think we're a mana short for that. Oh, wait, we can because of this guy. Yeah, actually, that seems great. Let's do that.
That was very loud, and I apologize for that. Um... Wow, that was a, yeah, that was great. <laughs> I'm gonna see the doctor now. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, silent departure. Sounds good. Oh, we can play a wrist too? Oh, you got it. Look at my goat getting in there, bro. Uh, why not second scar? I don't think we needed to. Like, I, when I have things to do in my hand, multiple things to do, like, there's no reason to get rid of board presence, in my opinion, in order to just make our draws a little bit better when we already have, like, five things to do. Oh, when they bounced? Um, I just forgot. <laughs> I think there's a lot more going on in Arena. And, like, I've talked about this before. Like, I feel pressured when I'm playing Arena. Because I always worry about the timer and the rope and, like, running out of time. And, like, it's just... So I feel like my decisions are a lot more hasty. And I'm, I'm, I'm much more inclined to try to quickly press OK. Um, see, this hand seems a little slow. But we don't know what we're up against. I'm going to keep it because we don't know. Like, it's a different deck. We have all our colors here. And we have lots of three and four. Rope seriously does add pressure. I'm like, oh god, I'm going to run out of time. And it feels terrible. I'm going to keep Fabled Passage because we have enough lands that uh, by the time we have to play Fabled Passage, it can come and play on tap. But it can also trigger Revolt for a couple things, so... No reason to crack it here. Oh, that guy. That old chestnut. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> well, right. Stockpile is what I meant. Like, because it has Revolt. Santa baby, I'm gonna see you sack the one one. Is this what you want to waste your dog on? Let me see that flavor text. She raised him from an orphaned pup and gave him a life of love. With his last act, he thanked her. God, it's just the saddest thing. Oh, he valor stance instead. Interesting. Hey, little bud. I got a little Wallace over here. Um, we're gonna block here because if we block the other guy, they can just give it indestructible, and then we just trade the one for one anyway. But at least, okay, sounds good. At least we gain two, I guess. Okay, Wallace Ray, you're being real. Okay, we're bringing a Wrath of God for this matchup. Oh, that's actually a great draw. Okay. 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 <laughs> 
L. Smith conquers death. One drop, two drop, one drop, one drop. You're like, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, a Heliod. How nice. Is he exerted? Yeah, I'll no blocks it. It's fine. <laughs> Elspeth conquering death on Heliod is such a flavor win, dude. Hey! What are you doing? What the fuck? Our opponent's name is Richard. It's kind of funny. Um, so a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. Hmm, let's no attacks there. Sounds good. Uh, Elspeth killed Heliod. That is the lore. taking their time here. You got it. Cool bird. You don't got reach, right? Do you wish Arena had an action log? Yes, I do, and I've complained about it several times. Okay, well, we can kill the floaty boy, block one of the threes, and still take six. So let's at least look at their hand. Wow, mono one ones dot deck over here. Oh, I don't know why I said nice, but. All right, let's bring in Wrath of God. <laughs> and... I mean, they had Alcide. I think that's the only real target that we saw. I feel like Reddick should actually do fine against them. I take out Dreadhorde Invasion, actually. It's a little pricey on the life. I don't think Celebrant's good. I don't know why we're... It's like, I mean, it's fine if we're, like, already winning, but we have to have a really good board state for this to actually do anything, and, like... I think it's a fine card. I just don't know if, like, we're really... Because yeah, we're also bringing in Wrath, so it's like... Uh, yeah, this is, this is capable for sure. We'll start with the castle. <laughs> You're facing off against Garfield? Yeah, Richard himself.
Oh, Birth of Miletus. What a great draw here. Man, two life, a wall, and a planes? Shoot. Does this do proliferates? Well, that's good. Hmm. Banalish Marshal is easily killed. Integrity Intervention is easily played around. Heroic Reinforcements is actually pretty obnoxious, so... Fascinating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I definitely feel like we're in a position where we can take advantage of the Vasary. Or take like take advantage of our creatures rather, because I don't think we're gonna be throwing things away now. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen some of the new sagas. They look sweet. Oh, they got an energy. Proliferate out of my Vazwiz Lieutenant. Man, they gave themselves more energy. Did you get your hands on an RTX? Yeah, I've been using a 30, 30, 80 for like the past month. Oh, Failed Passage does not get a green. Dang. 3 3, huh? Good. <laughs> It's not. Um. Yeah, let's just play this guy. We definitely have enough man that we're gonna get like sack two lands. Even one, two, three, four, five, six. We can sack two and then uh, draw two cards. One of which will likely be a land. This guy indestructible. Oh, no, he just comes back. Skyclave Apparition. That's actually pretty good. So now we get to wipe the board and make a 4-4. Oh, boy. It was actually surprising. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Uh, are we doing? Yeah, we're gonna crack this now. Got one, two, three, four, five. Are you going to do another arena cube? Probably, maybe not. I don't know. I wanted to. I really wanted to get three in, but I think Katie's might be home soon. I think it all depends when this ends and what her ETA is, because I, I like to maximize my my time with her since she leaves at like seven in the morning and gets home at like six at night. So. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, that's fascinating when we have Castle Arden fail out. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six in the air. Or seven damage total. I don't know how they beat Castle Ardenvale, to be honest with you. I was I want to stream Cyberpunk, but but like at the same time, it's so long that I kind of don't. So we can actually attack here, and it saves us like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna get in there. What does it cost? Four? So the one, two, three, four, five. So we can't play two things next turn. This got life on right? Little baby cat. Look at that weird ass embalmed mummy cat. One, two, three. Actually, that's actually pretty decent. Oh my god, that's really good. Um, I'm going to no attack, but I'm also going to finish off this, and we'll just, we're actually going to get rid of one of the angels, because we can make more, and I'd rather have a blocker this turn. Oh no, I'm so, oh, that doesn't, okay, for some reason I thought it did four. <laughs> I was like, wait, that doesn't, that, that, that's dead. Okay. Oh, see, the other option was, yeah, ridering the two, three. And then making two four fours that can block. Yeah, that would have been good too. That might have been better actually. But I got so excited about the about the start finish. I mean, I don't feel like attacking with... I. So the thing is, like, with Loyal Pegasus, they have to attack with at least one other creature, so... That's pretty good. But you don't have a land, so that's good. Giant killer. They got Vigilance? Jesus. Okie dokie. Yeah, we're just gonna end the turn here. We can keep Murderous Rider, Giant Killer, and Castle Ardenvale up. Neither of these two are super impressive here. You got it. Pass. I don't think you're attacking. Okay. I feel like they're dead here. Okay. Did they just not realize Castle Ardenville made four fours, or did they? Were they waiting to see if I realized it? I mean, Celebrant might be better than Elspeth Conqueror's Death. We just don't have a ton of targets for them. Sarah Angel Machine, go! Body massage. Body massage. Uh, this actually seems decent.
Oh, they had no one drop? That feels good. No two drop either? Oh boy. <clears throat> Richard, tell me you have a three drop. Oh, anointed procession into start seems real good. Hmm. Well, that guy's good. Man, Jeremy Bullock passed away? God, Jeremy Bullock and David Prowse in like the same month? It's been a shitty month for the OG Star Wars, man. That sucks. I think it depends on what they do. If they put guys on the board that I want to block, I will definitely start. If they don't, I'll just take three and then three again. I could also consider blocking. But uh, knowing that they have combat tricks is not ideal. So you drew that guy. Well, either way, we're doing this. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got a game. Boof. That's fucking interesting. Um, Just have to survive long enough to execute our plan. I think Loxodon is the correct play here. Maybe we... Actually, maybe we Giant Killer and then locks it on. Yeah, definitely keep your mind on top. Because next time we can go land, anoint a procession, uh, sack for stockpile, make two guys, and then next turn we can visitation. I also wanted the other blocker, so. I don't know what you're taking here. Giant killer? Sure. So actually kind of like finishing this, making a token. But we make two tokens if we... I just kind of want to get rid of this guy, to be honest. What does he need? Five? One, two, three. If it's a Legion's landing, 
Um, I actually don't want Legion's Landing here, I don't think. Maybe I do. I guess we can actually Legion's Landing make two. Oh yeah, that's actually, I think it's actually fine. It prevents us from visitationing, but it keeps, it gives us two tokens from this, two tokens from this, and we get to finish. And I think that's probably pretty good. And then also two tokens from this, so. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's very good. Don't like that. I'm gonna keep one and just take four here. And I'm gonna. Oh wow! Did we just get a trade with Mentor with with Tajik? That seems very good for us. I actually might want to kill the marshal now. Um. And I think we're just going to pass here. That's good, but it doesn't do much on board. Okay, that's better. Actually, it's probably just worse to... Yeah, we're really looking for a land here. I should have... Oh, shit, I should have scried. I forgot. Oh, wow, that's pretty decent, actually. Oh, God, do we just, do we just give us one turn to, like... We can also just, we can also bond to here. Interesting. We could bond to sack one, get two. Also like sack legions landing as well. I feel like it can't, I feel like visitation pass is not correct, but. All right, we're gonna do it. No attacks. So we're at virtual 12. But like the problem is if they can get rid of our two blockers, we're probably dead. Ugh. I feel like this was greedy and I shouldn't have done it, but I feel like the payoff is high. God. Don't like. Okay, it, it, they don't have an obvious line, apparently, so. I mean, 4 mana helix also kills one guy, but that taps them out mostly. So if they had, like, 4 mana helix land, we block here, we take 5, 9, and then we gain 1. So we go to 2. I think I... If we also draw a card that costs 3 or less, I would be fucking bananas. Having hidden stockpile and a procession and divine visitation on the board at the same time is is everything we want to be doing with this deck. So, <sighs> yep. Just double blocking here. Saram making six angels seems seems unbeatable in my brain.
<laughs> they're reading all my enchantments. Okay, life link is fine. Oh, it's seven because we can, because we'll sacrifice one. Sure. Yeah, that guy's fine. That's not super impressive. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, Heliod's really, really keeping the ship afloat on their side of the board, or he will be. Oh wow. Holy shit! I just had a, I just had a, I think I just had a stroke. Oh my god, that was the probably the best possible draw outside of like. I have a full boner right now, yes. Uh, resolve. Eight angels? Sounds good. I'll scry. Uh, doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't need this guy. I'll make two more angels. I'm at nine angels. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> A little late for that guy, but alright. <laughs> oh, baby. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Did we just 3-0? Yeah, that's nice. That's a good prize. Fireborn Knight. A boner! <laughs> yes, Michael B. Yes, Michael B. Oh, Authority of the Councils. Consoles. Consoles. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm going to open this pack right now. And I'm going to let you guys see it. You ready? It's a gem. Oh, it's a wild card. That's nice. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch if you guys have the opportunity. You can get a free sub every month with uh, Amazon Prime and Twitch. It is a great way to support the channel. And as I repeat every single video, uh, I'm a content creator full-time. Uh, and this is my main source of one of my main sources of income. So if you guys can spare it, if you guys want to support the content you're viewing, uh, would really, really mean a lot if you guys considered subscribing or following. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.